What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful, tender, smoky pork belly burn ends. Coming up! When it comes to that perfect bite of barbecue, we're all after basically all of the adjectives I start every video with. Smoky, delicious, tender, juicy, fatty, rendered, savory, sweet, moist. And if there was ever a dish to nail all of these every single time, it would have to be pork belly burnt ends. Sometimes cured and turned into bacon burnt ends, the pork belly burnt end is always a crowd pleaser and a great choice for beginners because it's incredibly versatile as well as super forgiving. So that being said, today I'm gonna to show you my version of how to make pork belly burnt ends, or as I like to call them, belly bites. And it is going to be delicious. This is a pork belly. I picked this up at my local HEB. But if you can't find these at your local grocery stores, you can always check Costco or Sam's Club. They usually have them. So for my version of belly bites, I like to leave these in long strips as opposed to cubing them up right off the bat. That's for a few different reasons. And one of them is it's a lot easier to move around a long strip on the smoker than it is a thousand little bite-sized pieces. But at this point is when you're really gonna decide how big you want these. You can make them as big or as small as you'd like, but bear in mind that they are gonna shrink up a little bit. Ooh, looking good to me. Oftentimes at the grocery store too, you can find them stripped out like this already, which makes life real easy. Next step is to add a slather, because with belly bites, it's all about building those layers of flavor. My go-to slather is usually a mix of hot sauce and yellow mustard. This works well for me because mustard is a tad too thick and hot sauce is a tad too thin. So mixing them together, you get some really nice flavors, some really nice tackiness, and it works well for me. So I'm gonna go around and get these coated up on all sides with my slather. Mm, smells good already. Very nice, very nice. But you can use whatever you like. Just some water would be fine, some barbecue sauce would work. I've done mayo before. And then we're gonna go in with our rub. Today I'm going with good old fashioned trusty chud rub. This is a pretty basic rub that I make. Mostly salt and pepper, but it's also got some garlic and other spices in there. And we're just gonna get this nicely coated up. And you can use literally whatever rub you want. You could go just salt and pepper. Any off the shelf rub will work just fine. Even if it's a super sweet rub, we're making burn ends after all. So it's all about getting some good flavor on there. Whatever you've got on hand. Very nice. Get a nice coating on there. Oh yeah. Get all sides. And again, this is a lot easier in strip form than it would be if these were cubed up already. Looking good. Don't forget your edges, folks. And there we go. That is looking perfectly rubbed to me. Let's fire up the pit. Cool. Hey, it's gonna be a good day. Nice and toasty. We're rocking this cook right around 300 degrees, 275. We are simply enough gonna throw these on fat side up, right about there. And just like any other piece of meat, you don't wanna have them stretched out too thin and you also don't wanna have them lumped up too much because however you put these on is how they're gonna cook. If there is a thicker end, I'd aim that towards the fire. Other than that, we're gonna let these rock for the next hour or few and then we will check back in. Yeah, I thought I was rid of you, but alas, there's a snake in my boot. <laughs> Three hours later, let's take a look at these bad boys. Looking real nice, nice and soft. That bark is looking real good on there. Sometimes you just gotta look at it. And they are incredibly tender. Just to the touch, you can see how pillowy and soft they, oops, sorry about that. How pillowy and soft they are. They're super tender, right around 200 degrees. Whoops, went through that one. Feeling good. Let's pull them off and let them rest for a little bit. Just gonna toss them in this aluminum pan here. That way if any juices decide to keep rendering out, we'll save them. Oh my God, that feels so good. Yes, please. Oh, they feel so good. Oh my God, that's hot. Whoo! We'll rest these for a little bit. After letting these rest for a little bit, just so they don't juice out all over the cutting board, I think it's time to slice them up. And again, you can make these as big or as small as you like. 
I just like these nice little cubes, and this is another benefit to doing it in strips. Just a nice little bite-sized cube is what you're after here. And this is my favorite part about doing it this way, belly bite style, is you get these open edges. Gives you a little more heterogeneity in your belly butts instead of being super bark all the way around. This kind of brings the best of both worlds between burn ends and sliced pork belly. But sometimes I'll do full bark coverage. Maybe we'll do that in the bacon burn ends episode. Well, before we put these back on, I might as well try it real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yup, that's delicious already. But we're not done yet, folks. Shout out to Babish, loving this cleft knife. Yes, please. All right, so now back into the pan these go while we add yet another wire flavor. So at this point, we're gonna hit it with a little barbecue sauce. Today I got some Leroy and Lewis honey sauce. This is from Sweet Week a couple weeks back. Very sweet barbecue sauce. And for a little extra sweetness, we're also gonna go in with some maple syrup. Oops. Looking real good while we're at it. Might as well go on with a little extra chud rub. So now, back on the smoker, these go for the next little bit just to bark up, get a little more tender, thicken up that sweet sauce, and then we'll dive in. Also, big shout out to Mike from up in New Hampshire. Thanks for sending me this beautiful jug of fresh maple syrup. You're the man. Ooh, look at that, folks. So tender, so sweet, so juicy. Big pile of them, too, little party snacks. Can't go wrong with these. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's amazing. So easy, so simple, so versatile too. Any rub, any sauce, you can keep it sweet, you can keep it savory, you can make it barky, you can make it soft. Oh, definitely worth a weekend cook. I mean, come on, what more do you need? Tender, juicy. Yes, please. Gotta be careful though, eat too many of these, you will crap your pants. Uh, 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 uh. Evan, mm -hmm. are you ready to eat some little belly bites? I was born ready, man. Choose your favorite. Mm, tender, smoky, sweet, and delicious. I don't know why more people don't do these. Oh, that's right, everybody does them. That's right, that's right. This is the, uh, the, the fourth leg of the Texas quadrilogy, yeah. at, right after turkey. I mean, it's easy, it's delicious, it's fatty, sweet. Mm -hmm. Perfect little nug, you can just pop it in. <laughs> it's like a four hour cook. It's fast. And if you get a whole belly, easy. you can make a whole bunch of them. Sweet, savory, tender, fatty. It's a perfect little nugget. You know, kind of like a mid step. Like if you're comfortable cooking pork butt, if you're comfortable right. cooking ribs. You don't want the time commitment of brisket. Mm -hmm but you want something really fatty, super rich, go with the burn in, go with the pork belly burn in. This is also a great thing if like, you got someone that's unfamiliar with barbecue. Mm -hmm. Like you can't not like that. It's, it's meat and candy mixed together. Yeah. Well, how would you eat this, eat this on a sandwich? I think you'd throw them in a long bun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, meatball sub style. Hot dog bun. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make belly bites, my version of pork belly burnt ends. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to let me know by hitting that subscribe button. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram, at Chud's Barbecue. I love to see what y'all are cooking. I highly recommend giving this one a try. It is damn near impossible to screw this up. And no matter what, they're gonna come out delicious. But let me know in the comments below what you want to see me cook next. Head over to chudsbarbecue.com for all pit inquiries, wait lists, and all that good stuff. And until the next time we see you, please go cook something outside. Peace. Mm -hmm.